everyone. My name is Audra and welcome to my magical kitchen. I am so excited today to be teaching you about the power of food and how you can use food to manifest anything you want in your life. So today we're going to be working with some powerful ingredients and we're going to be manifesting some love. Since Valentine's Day is right around the corner, I figured we'd magically cook up a sweet treat and we'd create a banana foster. Foster in the love. Okay, so here is a list of our ingredients that we're going to be using in our bananas foster today to foster in the love. So of course, we are using bananas. Bananas are a masculine energy and they're known for its lustful properties. We're also using the apple. Now we're not using the apple in our dish, but we are using it as a tool today to help stir the brown sugar and butter to help it not stick on the bottom of the pan. I also wanted to bring to your attention the sacred geometry that's in the apple. Isn't that beautiful? Who knew the apple holds the secret of the universe? <laughs> it does. We're also using brown sugar. Brown sugar is ruled by the goddess of love. So this is a real sweet treat and it's gonna help sweeten the deal and bring some sweetness to you. We're using butter today. Butter is an interesting ingredient. It helps to regenerate love, but butter mixed with fire helps to ignite love and passion. As you see, I drew a symbol in my butter representing love. We also have some cinnamon for some spice and some nutmeg for some feminine energy. And the nutmeg is actually ruled by Jupiter and it has a warming sensation without getting hot, but it's gonna really stir up the heat in your love life. We're also adding rum, finally, and that is gonna be an offering for the gods to say thank you and we're going to be grateful and we're really gonna enjoy this banana foster as we bring in the love. So let's get started. I started off with melting some butter and I already added my brown sugar into the pan. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take that apple I talked about as my tool and we're gonna use that tool to mix and melt the brown sugar and butter, medium low heat, until it gets nice and bubbly. And it just starts to caramelize a little bit. Looking great right now. I like using the apple as my tool. It helps uh, the sugar not stick to the bottom of the pan. Once that's nice and caramelized, I'm gonna take my rum, I'm sorry, my bananas, and I'm going to add them to the pan. Again, with my apple, I've been mixing it. Oh, it smells amazing. Add a little bit of cinnamon for some spice, a little nutmeg for some feminine energy. Ooh, and they look fabulous. I think we're about ready to start some flames. So, turn up the heat a little bit, and we're gonna take our rum, and we're just gonna add our rum. I'll let that cook down a little bit. What it's doing right now is that the alcohol is cooking off the bananas, and oh my goodness, the smell is amazing. So awesome. I like my bananas nice and caramelized. What a great dessert. Perfect dessert for Valentine's Day. All right, so now that that's cooling down, I'm gonna get my ice cream. Now that I have my bananas nice and caramelized, I'm gonna add them right on top of some ice cream. Oh my goodness. This is one of the best desserts ever. You're gonna love it, try it. And it was fabulous, magical cooking with you. Have a great night.